everyone! Welcome to Time for Adults. My name is Charmaine and today I will be showing you guys some book recommendations for Filipino American History Month which occurs during the month of October. It is not too late to read something to commemorate this monthly observance. First off, I'll be starting off with some nonfiction followed by some fictional titles. Our first title is Mixed Plates by Joe Coy. This is a comedy memoir by comedian Joe Coy. He talks about growing up as a half Filipino and half white a child and the obstacles and hardships that he faced in achieving the American dream for himself and his family. Um, the physical copy of this book also has plenty of family photos and some early photos of his comedy stand-up routine as a new comedian. Next is Cape, a Philippine coffee cookbook by Vicky Veloso Barrera and Chit Juan. This book will get you hungry for all sorts of coffee and pastry recipes, including ice mochas, coffee jelly floats, food for the gods, which is a cookie bar recipe, uh, and pani saw French toast with coffee sauce, which is made with leftover Filipino bread rolls. This book also includes a history of coffee in the Philippines, as well as various facts about coffee. Our next three books are about Filipino history. We have The Impossible Dream, The Marcoses, The Aquinos, and The Unfinished Revolution by Sandra Burton. She gives an eyewitness account about the assassination of the Filipino politician Nino Aquino and the political chaos that followed. And we also have Freedom's Martyr, the story of Jose Rizal, national hero of the Philippines. And this one is written by Suzanne Middendorf Aruda. This one talks about Jose Rizal, who was an ophthalmologist and a writer. And he was executed by the Spanish army after the Philippine Revolution. And our other historical book is Inside the Philippine Revolution by William Chapman. And this one gives an account of the New People's Army, which is a military branch of the Communist Party of the Philippines. My final nonfiction books are Basic Tagalog and Tagalog Picture Dictionary. These are language learning resources to help you learn Tagalog, which is the national language of the Philippines. This book right here has manga-like illustrations, um, free audio recordings online, vocabulary help, grammar, and more. And this one here has over 1,500 different Tagalog words and expressions in a variety of different categories such as family, fruits and vegetables, and nature. Now we're moving on to fiction books. First, we have Smaller and Smaller Circles by F.H. Batakan. It's about two Catholic priests who are searching for a serial killer in Manila in the Philippines. It won the Philippine National Book Award and is considered the first Filipino crime novel. We also have Esperanza Street by Niyati Kenny. This novel takes place in a port town in the Philippines and centers around a young boy named Joseph, who is a houseboy to Mary Morelos, who is the owner of a, a three-story colonial home on Esperanza Street. And together, they witness the destructive changes that unfortunately occur in their community. Next is Sola Musica. Love Notes from a Festival, which is a short story collaboration from Filipino YA chiclet authors Mina V. Esquera, Chingay Labrador, Maria Miniano, and Inez Bautista Yao. The stories center around a summer music festival and the characters, they find romance and do their best to achieve their dreams. This book was an Amazon best-selling short story collection. Our final book is 
Perfect Boyfriend by Mina B. Esquera. She is one of the short story collection authors who I mentioned previously in this video. This book contains three of her romances, which are My Imaginary Ex, No Strings Attached, and That Kind of Guy. At the time of this recording, I'm actually reading this book and it's pretty interesting. If you enjoy feel-good, lighthearted romances, this is the book for you. And that is it. If you want to request any of these titles, feel free to place a hold of them online on our library's online catalog through our website, or you can give us a call at the main library, 951-413-3880, or call any one of our other library branches for library staff to help you request this title. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below which one of these books are you most interested in reading first. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!